Thank you, Leonid, for introducing us. Uh, as he said, I'm Legrand Alabash. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Christoph Harbor in St. Kitts. And I know that after you see this video, you don't think that I work for a living. And uh, it is actually quite a benefit to live and work in, in such a beautiful place. Uh, we're thankful to Adam Smith for this opportunity to be the elite property partner today for you at this conference. Um, and I've really enjoyed meeting many of you uh, over the past two days and hope that I can meet uh, others, of course, before it's over. I'm going to talk today about Christoph Harbor, a new luxury resort development on the island of St. Kitts in the Caribbean. Uh, there's a unique investment opportunity there that I think many of you will find interesting, um, something that solves uh, multiple problems or, or multiple desires of your clients' needs and um, has the incredible added benefit of citizenship by investment. As you can see from this photo, it is a, an area of incredible natural beauty. This land in the foreground of the photo is our property. We have 2,500 acres, 13 miles of coastline, six beaches. And as you see, the terrain is really rugged and dramatic and natural, formed by volcanoes which are now extinct, but it gives you mountains and beautiful blue sea in close proximity. Before I tell you more about Christoph Harbor and St. Kitts, I want to talk a little bit about who we are as a development company. Uh, the US-based developer that purchased this land in 2007 and is the master developer of Christoph Harbor is called Kiowa Partners, named for an island in the state of South Carolina where they've uh, been developing for 25 years. Kiowa is a family-owned business. It is a long-standing real estate development uh, family with many generations of success. And what's important to know about that is that this is, um, because it's a family business, it has a long view to the horizon. These are not people who are in a hurry, who like to rush and get things wrong. These uh, are people who really take their time and work a project in a way to get everything right. Their award-winning uh, developments to date include Kiowa Island, USA, a very famous uh, golf resort development, 10,000-acre development on the coast of South Carolina. Kiowa Island was the host of the 1991 uh, Ryder Cup, which I don't know if any of you out there are golf fans. Uh, I'm not a particularly good golfer myself, but we're very proud that Kiowa uh, hosted the Ryder Cup and, in, and as well this year will be hosting the 2012 uh, PGA Championship. Uh, several years after they launched Kiowa Island, um, the partners came across a property in the southwest coast of Ireland, really beautiful coastal property in a little town called Dunebeg. And they purchased uh, Dunebeg and created a world-class golf club there and luxury lodge. The golf course there was designed by Greg Norman, and it has been named the best golf resort uh, in Europe. And for any of you who uh, enjoy a golf retreat, uh, to Ireland, I highly recommend it. Um, to date, in 25 years of development experience, Kiowa Partners has sold over $4.5 billion of real estate across these projects. So this is a company that has uh, significant experience in master planning the resort environment, packaging and selling it uh, in a way that is highly appealing to discerning buyers, particularly those interested in having a private club. A little bit about Christoph Harbor. As I said, we have 2,500 acres, which is really quite unusual in the Caribbean to find a development of this scale. Um, so it was very fortunate the partners were able to find this much undeveloped, unspoiled land uh, in one place at one time. Um, you'll see around the Caribbean some places that are perhaps uh, you might consider overdeveloped or maybe it's just a little too much and it's lost its Caribbean authenticity. This is one of the beautiful things about St. Kitts, is that this is a place that still feels very authentic and warm and inviting and uh, not overdeveloped and overdone. Um, our property, because it's a peninsula, is surrounded by water, and so we have several unique uh, bays with their own beaches, each with their own characteristics, um, all fantastic for swimming or water sports, snorkeling, or of course just enjoying the beautiful view. We have dramatic elevations, uh, exceeding 1,000 feet in some places. So with these wonderful hillsides, you have the opportunity to create villas that have really stunning uh, long views. St. Kitts is well connected to the rest of the world. We have an 8,000 foot runway there. 
so we can land the world's biggest uh, private jets without any problem, unlike some of our sister islands that have tiny runways and present air travel difficulties. Um, St. Kitts is not a problem. We're connected to UK by British Airways, two flights per week direct to St. Kitts. We have daily direct flights from Miami on American Airlines, twice a week from uh, New York on American, and we have connections on US Air and Delta and other carriers from the US. So it's really quite easy uh, to reach St. Kitts. Also, because uh, so many of the other islands are close by, um, St. Kitts is located just about 30 miles south of St. Bart's and St. Martin. Um, you may not have heard of St. Kitts before, I don't know, but you probably have heard of St. Bart's. Uh, we're not far south of Puerto Rico. On a clear day, we can look to the north and see St. Bart's just there on the horizon. So it's very easy to have St. Kitts as a sort of quiet uh, retreat from the hustle and bustle of other places, somewhere private and exclusive, uh, but yet you can hop on a private air charter and be in St. Bart's in 15 minutes for lunch and shopping and then come back to your home in St. Kitts. Christoph Harbor, in the, the master plan, includes uh, private club facilities. This is what our company is really well known for, is creating um, really uh, exclusive high-end private clubs. The club will include a beach club, which we have already completed construction of. I'll show you some photos of in a moment. Um, a Tom Fazio design championship golf course. Uh, super yacht facilities, which will include a yacht club. We have currently four luxury beachfront bungalows. That's what you see in the photo here. Of course, uh, any of you care to visit us, uh, you can be our guest there. Just on the beach at a beautiful beach called Turtle Beach. And we have a fine dining restaurant called The Beach House that's been uh, very well recognized around the world by New York Times Magazine, Condé Nast, Travel and Leisure. Uh, we've received numerous accolades for these bungalows and uh, the, the adjacent restaurant. It's really a fantastic, quiet, um, luxury getaway. We have a plans for more than one luxury five-star hotel within the 2,500 acres, but presently we're working with a development partner, a capital partner from Dubai called Range Developments, um, and we have worked together to create a unique means of financing uh, the hotel there by selling investment shares. Uh, for any of you who'd like to hear more about that in detail, I would invite you to come to our reception tonight at 6 o'clock, where we'll be making some announcements about that. Um, not at leisure to uh, divulge the operator yet, although my understanding is that we'll have a signed operating agreement by Saturday um, and followed by some uh, announcements here in the Moscow and uh, elsewhere. This is a photo of our recently completed beach club on Sandy Bank Bay. We tried to be very sensitive to the surrounding environment with the structure. We, of course, wanted to deliver uh, luxury at the highest end. We know that all of our clients and your clients are used to traveling to very luxurious places. We want to honor that uh, commitment to luxury, but with respect to the relaxed Caribbean environment. So this facility combines both traditional architectural elements that might be more reflective of uh, the colonial era in St. Kitts, but also some contemporary elements um, that let you know this is something new and fresh. Looking back toward the sea, you can see it's uh, quite a relaxing venue to spend time with yourself, your family. Um, it's this, this weather you see in the photo is actually a typical day in St. Kitts, and that's not just marketing talk. Um, we're really uh, fortunate in St. Kitts that we only have two seasons, uh, warm and warmer, and, um, and, and it doesn't rain very much, so it's, it's quite a nice place for a holiday. This is one of the lounge areas located there at the beach club. Now, one of the exciting things um, about investing at Christoph Harbor and in St. Kitts is that not only are you acquiring um, a highly desirable luxury asset, a real estate asset in a beautiful part of the world, an emerging destination, you have the opportunity to acquire citizenship through this investment. The St. Kitts and Nevis government in 1984 established a citizenship by investment program. Uh, one of the options for acquiring citizenship is to invest in real estate. Uh, this program has been very successful. It started out quite quietly and slow in the 1980s, but over recent years has become quite popular. It's very popular with people from Russia and CIS. We're seeing an increase in, in interest from this zone. Um, but this, this opportunity is unique. 
Once you have acquired citizenship by investment in St. Kitts, it's for life. Um, you must hold the real estate asset for a five-year period, but after those five years, you can seek to recoup or even, of course, profit from your investment by selling it, but when you do so, uh, you retain your citizenship for life. Um, there is no residency requirement to do this. This is another unique feature of this program. You can make the real estate purchase, if you like, through an intermediary. Um, the buyer, if, uh, if they so desire, does not even have to make the trip, though we highly recommend it. You've seen the photos and the video. It's uh, a nice place to make a trip, but you don't have to. You can make the purchase from abroad, and you can uh, not visit St. Kitts, and you certainly don't have a residency uh, requirement for this program. Once uh, you complete the process, which typically uh, takes about four to six months, it can take less than that actually, three, three months, uh, depending on how uh, busy the citizenship office is. You receive as a citizen uh, your passport in St. Kitts and Nevis. It's a British Commonwealth passport. St. Kitts, formerly a British colony, but independent now. A very stable and forward-thinking government. This uh, passport gives you visa-free travel to over 120 countries, including the UK, Canada, and throughout the EU and Schengen areas. So you can imagine for many of your clients, depending on their nationality, um, this is an incredibly convenient thing um, to no longer have to go through the hassles of the visa process for travels to these, um, to these areas. In order to obtain citizenship by investment in real estate, it's necessary to make an investment of $400,000 um, or more. And then there are some application fees paid to government in addition to that. Everything that we're selling at Christoph Harbor, our project is approved. So all of the product that we sell at Christoph Harbor um, is approved under this program, um, including now the option to um, invest um, in the luxury hotel development. Uh, which we'll tell you more about this evening at the reception. Another thing that's nice about this particular option for citizenship is that it's a recoverable investment. Um, you, you make the investment, hold it for five years. Uh, we've heard some talk earlier about uh, the potential volatility of real estate in various markets, but one of the nice things about St. Kitts is as a new and emerging destination, uh, they haven't experienced a bubble per se. Um, when things were quite quiet there, uh, when all of the rest of the world was um, having a big fuss about real estate. Um, furthermore, the citizenship program in St. Kitts has a bit of a moderating effect on the volatility of real estate there um, because the, some of the value of purchasing real estate is tied to this program and over the years government continually increases the threshold price for investment. Um, the program itself therefore has a dampening effect on, uh, on the volatility of the asset. Um, currently, also St. Kitts has no income tax, no inheritance tax, uh, no types of wealth tax. So depending on the jurisdiction uh, that your client may come from, obviously this has additional great uh, benefits. I, I alluded earlier to the fact that St. Kitts is a, is a commonwealth country. All of the law there, the property law, is based on UK um, laws. So it's all very familiar and, um, and manageable. It's not uh, an alien system to have to learn or get comfortable with when you're making this purchase. St. Kitts has well-established uh, Canadian banking institutions such as Scotiabank and uh, RBC. It's interesting to note as well, and I, I don't claim to be a trust uh, expert by any stretch, but our sister island of Nevis, it is a twin island federation, uh, Nevis uh, has a very long-standing uh, popular trust business there. There are some unique structures and I think it presents an interesting opportunity for someone um, who's looking for a luxury destination to make this purchase at Christoph Harbor, obtain citizenship, but certainly can take advantage of uh, trust opportunities, uh, business creation opportunities in Nevis uh, just nearby and have these things uh, consolidated in one federation. The uh, St. Kitts Citizenship Program is really quite fast when you think about it. The advantages I talked about earlier, that it's uh, the, the property threshold at 400,000 relative to other programs in the world is really quite inexpensive. Uh, 
the fact that there's no residency requirement, and that pending uh, background checks, of course, um, and, and ensuring that the government doesn't taint the program by um, admitting the wrong people, which only takes a couple of months of vetting, uh, this is a very rapid and simple solution. For clients who have longer term uh, goals of obtaining residency or citizenship in places like the UK, Canada, Switzerland, etc., some of those things can be very um, uh, lengthy endeavors. So the St. Kitts program provides a very rapid solution um, that can perhaps be the bridge to bring your client to uh, whatever it is in the future they desire. At Christoph Harbor, we have numerous options uh, for qualifying by, uh, for citizenship by investment. Um, if your client or, or you desire simply property, just land, uh, that's in a, in, in a uh, valuable luxury uh, resort, we sell home sites. If your client uh, desires a villa, we have completed villas that are complete and furnished and ready to go. We're very uh, excited that this next month we are launching a fractional ownership at Christoph Harbor. Uh, the villa you see in this photo will be available and others like it for one-tenth shares at $400,000. Um, this will be a very low maintenance program. The $400,000 acquisition will include the uh, ownership fees during the five-year hold period. Um, it'll be a place that the owner can enjoy uh, as, a, as a luxury vacation destination for several weeks per year as a benefit of their ownership. But obviously they can also use this investment to qualify uh, for the program. Our super yacht marina berths also qualify for citizenship by investment. Uh, we are pre-selling now marina berths at $10,000 per linear foot. Uh, these first 12 buyers in this program will be founders in our club, will have free Christoph Harbor Club dues for life, and will also qualify for CBI. As I said earlier as well, we approved a program with government whereby investment shares, limited partner shares in our luxury hotel project with our partner at Range will also qualify for this program. Thank you, I really appreciate your attention today. Um, just to kind of wrap up and summarize, um, many of you have clients who desire real estate. We've heard a lot about that from previous speakers that real estate uh, among high net worth individuals is uh, considered really a necessity in terms of a uh, portfolio. And also we know that our high net worth clients enjoy travel and nice weather. Um, and as well, of course, the opportunity for more freedom of travel in a citizenship of a stable country with um, a very um, permissive passport. So all three of these desires can be satisfied in one purchase at uh, Christoph Harbor. We invite you to ask us more questions. Uh, we're hosting a reception this evening just after the conference at 6 p.m., and I hope that you can all join us there. We launched in 2008. The vast majority of our re initial reservation holders were U.S.-based. Uh, naturally, we're a U.S.-based development company. Our database was very heavy on the U.S. And so um, our first buyers were, I would say, you know, in the year 2009, 80 to 90 percent U.S. and only a handful of other. Uh, to date, we have sold now uh, approximately $60 million in home sites. That's before villa sales because we're just uh, coming up now on the, on the sale of the first few completed villas. Um, 60 million in home sites. Um, I would say that uh, right now, historically, I can count my Russia clients on one hand, um, but what we're seeing is a really dramatic increase in interest from this area. I think that the word on uh, St. Kitts is getting out, and I believe that the citizenship program has, uh, there's been a lot of education on this program. Um, that's creating a lot of interest uh, in our project. So my prediction is that in the coming two, three, four years, we will see the percentage of Russia CIS clients uh, increase here. Very good. Thank you again. Thank you.